Now, it's common knowledge that too much sodium isn't good for you. Data show China has the highest sodium intake in the world, but here in South Korea, average salt consumption has been falling, it's still though above the recommended levels. Kim mo Gyun has this report. People in China have the highest salt intake in the world. According to new research led by Queen Mary University of London, Chinese adults over the past four decades have consumed an average of 10.9 grams a day, more than double the World Health Organization's recommended limit of 5 grams. This is because Chinese foods, especially those dishes from Sichuan province, are known for their spicy and strong flavors, which come from salty seasonings and spices. Other countries with similar intakes include Portugal, Montenegro and Benin. As for South Korea, Daily sodium intake has been decreasing over the past decade, but the most recent figure, which is from 2017, showed that the average intake per person was still 3,478 milligrams per day, which is similar to the U.S. and some European countries. That figure is far above the WHO's recommended level of 2,000 milligrams per day. Traditionally, a complete Korean table includes kimchi and stews, which both contain large amounts of salt. And according to research done by Gyeongbuk National University, one of the most famous Korean dishes, bibimbap, which is a bowl that contains a mixture of rice, seasonal vegetables and hot chili paste, had the highest sodium content of any Korean dish, with around 1,050 milligrams of sodium per serving. Fermented bean paste stew and soft tofu stew also contained a lot of salt. These figures are concerning, as large amounts of sodium can raise blood pressure, which leads to an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. In order to prevent our bodies from sodium-related health problems, experts advise we cut down on meat and eat more fruits and vegetables, as these contain lots of potassium, which helps remove sodium from our bodies. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.